Hey guys, it's Will from EDM Tips. Today I'm going to show you how to make house music in the style of Duke Dumont. So Duke Dumont is someone I've had so many requests from, from you guys, but in particular from my wife, who absolutely loves his music. So Duke Dumont is known for his tunes such as Ocean Drive, Won't Look Back, Need You, I Got You, so many good tunes, and I'm going to do that today in Ableton Live, using mostly just the stock plugins, but I'm also going to be using Serum for one sound as well. And as usual, you can download all of the samples and presets and the project file included in this video completely free. We will be going into the kick and bass. We will be going into those Duke Dumont piano chord progressions. We will be going into how to find vocals in Loop Cloud, mixing, arrangement and so much more. If you want to seriously improve your production game within 8 weeks, do check out my masterclass below. We are currently taking on students and you get weekly homework and feedback from me and my co-coaches. If you want videos like this each and every week, subscribe to my channel. If you dig this video, give it a big fat thumbs up and without further ado, let's hop into the door and get it done. Okay, house music in the style of Duke Dumont. We're gonna do this in a one take bilio. First thing I'm gonna do is select the tempo. So I'm gonna change it to 124 because Duke Dumont has kind of various different genres, but it's, it's all house, but he's got the kind of old school synthy st stuff like Ocean Drive. And then he's got the big piano anthems too. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Let's call it something, Duke Dumont. Okay, we're gonna call this King of the Hill instead of Duke de Mont. <laughs> right, okay, next thing we're gonna do is get a piano, and I'm gonna use the classic Korg M1 piano. Duke de Mont is a master of creating vibe. His productions aren't that polished, if you really listen to them, usually, but they're pretty raw sounding, but he really captures the vibe, gets those hands in the air, really commits the emotion. So first we are going to go to, and you can download this for free as well, I've got a Korg M1 piano a patch, which I created for the sampler. So we're just gonna load that in and you're gonna recognize it as a, as a classic piano house sound. So we're gonna use that as our main sound. And again, don't forget to download it. We're gonna add a little bit of compression to this just to make sure that it's reined in a bit. And we're gonna add some reverb on the auxiliary channel. So I'm gonna use a slightly longer reverb, a whole reverb, and I've got a utility after it just to bump up the gain. And then I've got an EQ to take out the low end. So let's put some of that on there. Lovely jubbly. Whoops, I put the wrong one on. I put my bass reverb on. That's a bit more like it. Cool, and we're gonna do the chord soon and I'll show you exactly how you can do them even if you've got no chord theory. Um, so now let's put in, or rather chord experience, let's get a kick drum in there. I'm gonna use audio, but you could use it in MIDI as well. Let's color it green. Choose one of my favorite kicks. I just have a few kicks that I like to go to. That's quite a nice one, so let's use that and um, just copy it onto each of the four beats. Obviously it's house. Come on guys and girls, you know how this goes because it's house. Let's put it down to minus 10. So we've got plenty of headroom on the master channel, no clipping. Now we're gonna do some drums. So I'm gonna add a clap first because you have gotta have a clap and I'm gonna use a classic clap sound. So this is from a 909. Uh, drum machine. Oh, I'm strangling myself. So let's just use that to give it that old school house sound. Like easy peasy lemon squeezy. Right, okay. And if you see, I've added a room reverb on an auxiliary channel. You can just go up and press create return track. So it means the same thing. And I've just got a shorter decay time on here. Again, a utility to bump it up in terms of gain, then an EQ to take out the low end. So let's feed some of that into this drum. Where we're gonna do that is click on this button here, open uh, and, sorry, return. And I've already got it uh, rooted in, but 
what you can do is you can create return chain and then just drop down and choose one of your global auxiliary channels. If you want more info about that, don't forget to join my masterclass um, or one of my other courses. So now we can feed in just a little bit of reverb. Yeah, baby. Room. Everyone loves a bit of room. And it just gives it a bit of, you know, uh, atmosphere. Next is the open hat. Again, I'm going to use a classic drum uh, machine sound from the 909 drum machine. There we go. It's a bit of a skanky sample, this actually. That's a technical term. I'm just going to close that so we just need to see these controls here on the send but for this I'm going to program it in on every other kind of every offbeat as you'd expect but it's a bit kind of crunchy so I'll turn it down a tiny bit then I'm going to put on this filter button and take out the low end you could use an EQ in fact I'm going to use an EQ after it um, so I can just boost the high end a bit just to make it a bit shinier. Cool. And then the next thing we're going to do is get a closed hat and that's to give it some kind of shuffly goodness. And then we'll be getting onto the chords and the bass line, a classic kind of housey bass line. So I'm going to go to my favorites again and don't forget you can download all of these samples for free below this, but it's a 909 closed hat. And I'm just going to draw in a little uh, pattern. So I make it so I can see the 16th. And this is all I'm going to do. But what, what I want to do is make sure that this 909 open hat isn't playing when this closed hat's playing. So I'm just going to make sure it's not running over. And then I'm going to go to the open hat, make sure that I've got sustain full, but release zero. So it stops as soon as that MIDI note finishes. So this is the rhythm. So you can hear really simple. And then we are just going to repeat that. So I'll, I'll delete all this actually and just repeat that first bit. And then we're going to add some groove to this quickly. And I'm going to do that by right clicking here, clicking brown browse groove library, then go to MPC. That's what I usually use. Then choose MP16, uh, probably 64. Drag it into the groove pool so I can apply it to any clip that I want and then make sure velocity is zero so it's just the timing being affected. Drag and drop. So you can hear that shuffle now. It's a bit too much so we're going to dial it back a bit. Cool. And we're going to take down the volume of the closed hat a tiny bit. Maybe add a little bit room reverb. Cool. Okay, let's get that chord progression done. I'm going to use this um, patch I said that I made, like a classic rave piano sound, house piano sound, and I'm going to jam out an idea, then I'm going to show you how you can do it even if you've got no piano skills. So. Something like that. So the way we're going to do this is I'll show you how you can do it um, if you've got no piano skills. The first thing to do would be to choose what key you're writing it in. A minor is the easiest because in this key there are only the white notes, so you don't have to worry about hitting the wrong notes, especially if you do this. 
draw them all in. Just the white notes from A up to A. You can now grab them all. Hold Alt, drag them down an octave, drag them up an octave as well. And now when you press Fold, you've got basically a three octave template. So any notes you, you draw in here when Fold is hit, you're gonna sound, it's gonna sound good. The next stage is to draw in the rhythm that you want and you can tap this in or you can draw it in. I'm gonna play it in with my MIDI keyboard. Whoops, um, forgot to mention, if you grab them all by pressing Command and A and press left cursor, then it gets them out of the clip so you don't hear them playing, but they do stay there. So, I'm gonna tap in a rhythm on this, on one note, on A. So it's a very simple rhythm, um, and I'm, then I'm gonna select it all, press Command, Shift, U, and that, I'm gonna quantize them. So that's pretty much it. Okay, so that's actually um, recorded over those other notes I put in. So best to do that recording bit first. Um, so you can draw in all those notes again. Uh, drag them down an octave, drag them up an octave. And then you can press fold and they're all there. There's your template, move them off. Cool. So that's my rhythm. What I'm gonna do is now draw in the chords. No, actually, I'll change the bass notes. So if you change them every four beats, and I'm just pressing up and I'm using this template so I can never hit a wrong note. select them all and then just make sure all of the velocities are the same so it's a nice steady hit and now I'm going to draw in the chords and the way I'm going to do this again is you just need to miss a note each time like this there's a chord I'm going to do them an octave and up above though something like that. So again, you can see it's just using the white notes. So I'm actually gonna just play, you can see how to do it now. You just skip a note each time and there's your chords. Like you could just repeat those ones and it would probably work. Change it up. Yes, definite acceptance of that. Um, now we are go. F I forgot. Give me a hell yeah if you're digging this already. There's loads more to go through, so I'm not going to waste time. Um, now you know how to make the chords. I'm just going to play some in really quickly. And I'm gonna tweak them, make them a bit better. So I'm just gonna quantize them. So it's got that Duke de Mont feel.
quite like that do, 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 run. So I'm going to just copy that and then paste it here. Just tweaking it a little bit, get it how I want. Right, now let's get the bass line in. And this is going to be our kind of main section with the vocals, like with some cool big ray vocal over the top of that. But then we go into the bass line and what we're going to do is draw this again in the key of A minor natural because that's the key we're using. Um, I'm actually going to use, I'm going to shake things up, I'm going to use Serum because some people have been asking me how to use third party plugins, not just the ones that come with Ableton. Um, the first thing I usually do, I would usually kind of search through um, some patches. I know that this is the kind of sound that I want for that house bass. So let's have a quick look at what's going on here. So you've got the A oscillator, which is just a sine wave, and that's being frequency modulated by the B oscillator, which is this harmonic series uh, wave, which is you can just select there. And if we go into the matrix, you can see what's going on as well. Now these ones here really aren't doing much. Okay, they're doing a little bit. But basically these envelopes here uh, are controlling the amounts that this is being modulated from this wave. And that gives you that lovely FM kind of um, housey sound. So let's draw that in. And this is, again, you can write out all the white notes if you want, or you can just do it by eye and get the rhythm that you want. And you can just play it in on one note and then change the notes after if you want to make it easier on yourself. Just switching, switching it up a bit at the end of four bars. So that's going to be our main bass sound. Now to make it bigger and a bit more present, I'm going to add another reverb on the auxiliary channel. I'm calling this bass reverb. It's very similar to the room reverb. It just gives me the opportunity to control a bit more um, of the bass frequencies. Check in mono, make sure it still sounds good. Now let's try it with the uh, piano. Now you'll notice it sounds a bit weird and that's because the bass notes of the pianos changing whereas the this is just staying on the root kind of part of the, the key which is just A. So you can see all these notes and that's because we want the chord progression to happen in the breaks and then not when we get into the drop. But in the last drop we want to have the bass notes changing as well. 
But instead of using the same bass sound, we can actually get a secondary bass sound. First, I'm going to make this a sub, uh, a sub bass for this too. So all I'm going to do is just duplicate this bass line. Um, and then I'm going to choose the operator in Ableton. Uh, and then I'm just going to choose a simple. Uh, it's important to put the swing on the bass lines as well and the piano, just so it all sounds like it's in the same groove. So with the operator, let's make this into a sub bass. Okay, I need to go in and manually drop it an octave. So uh, Command and A or Control and A if you're using Windows, then Shift and Down. Shift and down a couple of times until it's as low as it can go without you not being able to hear it. Just increasing the release a tiny bit. And then make sure you can only have one voice at a time because it's sub bass, you don't want sub bass chords. And this is just to give more low ends to the main bass, which you could actually filter out some of the low end from if you wanted to stop clashing of the sub bass. Come on, sub bass. So I've got a separate sub bass now and a separate mid bass. Okay, so let's do the secondary bass for when the chords change. Then we're going to find the vocals, then we're going to do some arrangement and we're working really fast today and then that is that. So for the secondary bass, this is going to be happen when these chords are changing. So if we create another bass, we'll just call it second bass, and we can group these ones all together soon if we want into a bass group. But I'm going to make a Reese bass, and I'm going to do this using Serum as well, because I already started using Serum, so why not again? Um, and I just want like a sustained, rich bass. So what I'm going to do is create some unison, detune it, and then I'm going to add some filter on it just to take out some of those high at harmonics. And there's your Reese bass. And we're going to have a sustained bass for when these chords are changing. In fact, I might turn off those chords and do it, just do it by groove. So I think I'm going to change the bass notes to these. They're still all in the key of A minor natural, so that's absolutely fine. Grab them all, quantize. And now I'm going to match the chords to this. So all I need to do is uh, match the bass notes and change the bass notes of the chord progressions. So I'm just copying and pasting basically from the bass line, a bit low down. So now let's see how it sounds. That's cool. I just need to tweak these a bit so the timing is correct, so it changes when the bass notes change. Yes! Yes! Let's grab
grab those, start them in the same place as the bass notes here. I like the way the, the, the notes are changing just before the bar starts and that gives it some extra groove, you know, some extra urgency. So listen to that with the beats and the bass. Okay, I'm actually going to make it so the second one, this one actually starts on the beat again, just to kind of bring the rhythm back in line. So let's just take that in there like this. And then I think we need this to change a bit um, to match the other sections. Okay, let's get those vocals. I'm going to be using Loop Cloud today for this. This video is not sponsored by Loop Cloud, but you can get it using the link below. Um, and I'm going to put on the. What am I doing? I'm going to put on the Loop Cloud MIDI device here on a MIDI channel. I'm going to load up Loop Cloud and I'm going to try and find a suitable vocal that gives me that Duke Dumont feeling. Ah, spiders. I hate spiders. Right, instruments. This is how I'm going to search with Loot Cloud. And it syncs up in tempo with Ableton, which is pretty sweet. So I'm pressing instruments. I'm going to go vocal. Um, definitely female. I'm going to go for an a cappella. And that is what I'm going to look in for. Then genres, house and soul and R&B, because we want some big female vocal, you know, um, yeah, that's what we want. Then key and BPM, well, we know we're in A, and we know we're in A minor. And now it's just going to be a case of having a listen and seeing what I want, and I'm going to be uh, pressing play, and then just, it's going to sync it, basically. So let's try that. Uh, let's play along. And all of them are going to sound in key. So I'm going to play along with the chords. Get something that gives us some feels. Okay. And I'm going to turn Never off. Once. Did you presume I couldn't do that? You're right. I didn't presume you couldn't do that. I'm going to turn off my library because I just want to see what's on in the store online. Um, actually, I might have some nice ones in there. So let's play along and see what happens. Painstaking to do it.
So if you do like something, I'm going to just turn everything down a bit so we can hear what's going on in Loop Cloud. Um, you can actually right click, go show full pack, and then you'll see everything in that pack. Um, and I'm going to just make sure that I'm listening to female vocals. Sort by key, and then make sure I'm just clicking on the ones that start with A minor because it shows all the samples. So you've got F minors there, but we, we just want to listen to the A minors. So let's listen to a few in this pack because they've got a nice old school housey vibe. That's nice. Let's listen to that. Vocal. I need to create an audio track, then I can just drag it in like so. Um, so let's see what we've got going on. Your girl is hating on me, hating on me. Yeah, yeah. Cause she knows you lie. What you see, what you see. So we're gonna add a bit of compression to that. Um, and some reverb, of course, but you can see how much it varies in volume. So actually, I'm just going to select the wave itself and just increase the gain, just so it's more in line with this lot here. But really, it does fluctuate a lot. If you really wanted to be a good boy or girl, then you would, you know, do a bit more gain matching manually. Um, just so your compressors aren't working so hard, but this will do for now because we're on a time limit, baby. Okay, let's make this one a bit louder. Remember, if you're digging this, give me a hell yeah, let me know, give me an amen, brother, whatever you are feeling, just so I know if you like it, let me know what genre you want me to cover next. Your girl is hating on me. Let's get some reverb on there. Your girl is hating on me, hating on me. And we're going to add some, we are going to add some delay on an auxiliary channel. And we're going to use the echo in Ableton because it's pretty cool. 100% wet. Okay, we can do something cool there actually. A really good thing for, uh, for vocals is actually the Wave CLA 
vocals um, plugin, but I'm just trying to do as much as I can in the Ableton plugin, so I won't use that now, but this will do. Um, and now let's get some, yeah, some arrangement. So, So I'm going to lay this out pretty much in a similar way to that um, Won't Look Back track uh, by Duke Dumont. So first I'll zoom out a bit. I'll just make sure we can see everything. And then I'm going to show you some cool little synth riff as well that you can jam along with. So I'm going to make a bit of arrangement. So if you were to start like this, with the big epic chord progressions, no bass, thank you very much. Your girl is I want this to sound bigger and wider, so what I'm going to do is add a bit of harsh effect. Um, am I going to do that? No, I'm going to use this free plugin from um, Thingy. You know them's Thingy. Isotope, it's the imager. Cause she knows you lie, what you see. And I'm just using that to spread out the, the mono signal a bit. I'm going to use this first uh, compressor to rein in the real big transients, and then the second one will just smooth the whole thing out a bit. Okay, let's do it. Your girl is hanging on me, hanging on me. Gonna mix yeah, a bit as we go. Cause she knows you lie, what you see, what you see. And then we're gonna go to this bit, which is basically going to be the introduction to the track. So let's turn off all of the claps apart hats drums apart from the clap and this we don't actually we're not using sidechain so I'll just delete that channel and then we're going to introduce the bass line I like this big yelly bit So we're going to do something like this just to introduce it, um, introduce the bass line. We'll turn off the sub bass for now. So I'm going to bring in the sub bass on the drop and I'm going to turn down the, the, uh, the reverb on the bass. Vocals with the piano. The haters gonna hate, the players gonna play. You can't blame me if your man plays away. That the haters gonna hate, players gonna play. So let's make a big Duke Demont like sustain vocal here. So I'm just gonna loop this bit. It's gonna sound a bit weird. You can smooth it out um, 
and then you could fade that out, for instance, like so. We're going to have that. Uh, I'm just going to shift it over so it happens a bit closer to the drop. Say, uh, let's. So that would be a big break there. You, and if you were repeating it like this, like just a little bit, you definitely want to kind of fade them in with clip fades just to make it smoother. Because it's going a bit click, click, click at the moment, but that's how you would do it. Um, and then you could automate some reverb on here on the channel itself. And we're just going to automate that on to fade out that vocal. It's just going to sound sweet. So big breath. Pretty much like that. So let's just add another bit repeating of that there. Okay, almost done. So this is how it would sound on that. I'm just going to automate that like so. It's going to be sweet. So that's a nice way to kind of fade the vocals out in a big scream. And then you go back to the So that is how you can make a house tune or house music like Duke Dumont. I'm gonna do a bit more work on this, probably choose a bit of a better vocal, and then you can download it all completely free below this video. So there you have it guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to download the project file and all the samples for free. Give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and until next time, cheers and happy producing. Yeah, Go ahead.